Hello, welcome to lesson 9, Multidimensional and Jacked Array in C Sharp, brought to you by Encore Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, I am going to teach what is Jacked Array and what are the advantages of using the Jacked Array. Before jumping into Jacked Array, I would, I would like to recall in the previous session, we learned how to create a multidimensional array and how to store values in it and how to retrieve it back also. Now, while doing dimensional array, you have to keep in mind that the length of the row in the array did not change means the size of the elements the number of elements in a row did not change it was constant it was same for it was same in the entire array that is the difference from jagged array to multidimensional array in the jagged array the length of the each row can vary to understand that clearly we'll jump into jump demo first we'll move into jagged array jagged array is an array of arrays in which the length of each array can differ it means jagged array is a collection of array itself and there the length of each array can differ that is the difference between multidimensional array and the jagged array multidimensional array is a collection of values where they are stored in the form of matrix that is 3 cross 2 or some some other type the, the values are stored in the form of rows and columns but jagged array is itself a collection of array where the length of each array can differ. Jagged array store arrays instead of any other data type value directly. What I said previously, jagged array is used to store arrays itself. Jagged arrays can be used to create table in which the length of rows are not the same. Imagine there is um, there is an array and the length of that array can be varied. It is not that the size of the length of the array is fixed and uh, Array is initialized with two square brackets. How, how can we initialize a jagged array? Jagged array is initialized with two square brackets. The first bracket specifies the size of an array. When you initialize a jagged array, you have to give two brackets. In the first bracket, it specifies the size of a jagged array. And the second bracket specifies the dimension of the array, which is going to be stored as value. It means that the first bracket tells us the size of the jagged array, and the second bracket tells us the size or the dimension of the array what we are going to store in the jagged array that is the meaning of the last sentence now to understand it very clearly we'll jump into demo i'll fire up visual studio i'm already having a code for jagged array here what i've done is first i've initialized the jagged array keep in mind keep in mind you can observe you can observe that once we are created here you can observe, as I said in the previous presentation, I have created two brackets and I have named the variable name as jag and I have used a new keyword to allocate memory for the array and integer type is return type is in and in the first bracket what I have done is I specified the number and for the second bracket I left it empty. We are jumping jump back into presentation again. Here you can observe the first bracket specifies the size of an array. It means that the three number three specifies the size of the this array the jagged array the size of this array is three means it can store three rows respectively you can observe here you can observe here one two and three three rows are stored in this array because that is the actual size of this array and what is the second bracket it's left with empty to understand that we'll jump back into presentation here you can observe the second bracket specifies the dimension of the array which is going to be stored as values it means that you can observe here you can observe here it stores this space is for it specifies the bracket the empty bracket in while declaring specifies that the dimension of the array which is going to be stored as values it means that that bracket it specifies the dimension of the array which is going to be stored in this jagged array as I said, jagged array is a collection of array. This empty bracket left out will store the dimension of the stored array in the jagged array. That is the specialty of the empty bracket. And here you can observe as the size of the array is 3, it is storing 3 rows. It is having 3 rows. And once I am once I'm having the values, once I am having the dimension of this arrays, the first, this 4, 3 and 5, they are the length of the rows. Means here you are storing one array and that array length length of the row length of, of that row is 4 
and the second array and that length of that array is length of the row of that array is 3 and simultaneously uh, the length of the row of that this array is 5 now once I'm having this this arrays now I want to store values now already the size of that length of the size length of the row is specified that is 4 3 and 5 now my job is store values to the respective places that is the first array can store four values and third array can store three values and the third array can store five values in order to store that I'll use four in order to store and retrieve I'll use six for loops totally six for loops I'm using to store and retrieve in the first three loops what I'm storing is for the first array of size four the length of that first array is size four you can store four values to that row similarly you can store three values to that second row and similarly you can store five values to this third row now once i've stored the values now my next job is to retrieve back now how to retrieve back i'm using the for loop to just print them on the console you can see here once it is less than four print these values from zero row till this size that is fourth 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 once it prints, next is comes and prints the second value, second row, that is the size is 3. Similarly, it comes and prints the last one, that is 5. Similarly, when I run this program, you can observe the length of the row varies for each array, in the jagged array, sorry. You can observe, see, the first, first row is having 3 or 4 elements and the third row is having 3 elements. And the final row, third row is having five elements. It means that jagged array is a collection of array in which the length of the row is not specified. Previously in multi-dimensional array, the length of the row was fixed. It means all the rows will have equal values. But in jagged array, it is different. You can observe each row is having n number of elements, means different values, different number of values. That is the speciality of jagged array. That's all. Thank you. Please subscribe to Anchor Training below. Have a great day.